You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. This commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 20th day of October 2023, and our topic for today says, You Must Grow Spiritually, Part 2. Let us pray. Our dear loving and kind Father, our Keeper and our Protector, the one who watches over us. Thank you for all the good things you do for us that are too numerous to even mention. Thank you for the battles you fight for us that we may not even be aware of. Lord, we come before you today, bringing our hearts of gratitude, saying receive our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. As we gather before you again, Lord, to hear you speak to us, we ask that you would minister to our hearts. Let your spirit brood over this word. Cause us, O Lord, to not only hear what you have to say to us, but to also walk in the light of it. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Hebrews 5 verse 12 reads, For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Our text for today is from the same book of Hebrews chapter 5. We would be reading now from verse 11 to 14. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 11 to 14 reads, Of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and that become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews chapter 5 from verse 11 to 14. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, You must grow spiritually. Part 2 And in the body of today's devotional, our Father in the Lord says that when a child is born, everybody is at his or her beck and call. The child is not expected to do any chore in the house. However, as the child begins to mature, he or she may then be sent on one errand or the other. It is the same way in the Christian walk. When someone has just become born again, the fellow is being fed by the mature Christians. When he or she comes to church, the workers will direct him or her on where to park the car, where to sit and attend to whatever needs he or she may have. As the fellow continues in the church and becomes a mature Christian, he or she would no longer be comfortable with just being served but would rather now want to serve in the house of God too. A Christian that is growing spiritually becomes increasingly responsible. Such a Christian will sacrifice his or her time because he or she is now living for God. There are, however, those who have been attending church for years, yet they don't do anything else apart from attending church services. How can you be coming to church without being a responsible part of the running of the house of your father? While others may be thinking of what God can do for them, a Christian that is growing spiritually will focus on what he or she can do for God. Beyond working for God, a Christian that is growing spiritually is always willing to give to the things of the kingdom. Just like Paul, he or she would not mind spending and being spent for the progress of the kingdom of God. While others are arguing about whether to pay tithe or not, a Christian that is growing spiritually is willing to give 100% of his or her income to God. A Christian that is growing spiritually will not complain when the pastor says there is a need to be met in the church. In fact, he or she would want to be the first person to meet that need. Many years ago, 
there was a rich man who regularly gave towards church projects and still helped supervise those who, unable to give financially, contributed their labor. One day, we suddenly saw him removing his clothes and joining in the physical labor. Surprised, we asked why and he said God had just told him, big man, well done. The people doing the work will get the reward that you will not. Cheerfully giving your money, time and energy to serve God are some of the signs that you are growing spiritually as a Christian. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, we are considering the topic, You Must Grow Spiritually, Part 2. Yesterday, we saw the part 1 of this topic where our Father and the Lord made us understand that the Christian work is not one without any form of adversity. We learned that as we grow as Christians, moving from baby Christians to mature Christians, we will be tested and tried. However, we learned that we have the responsibility to grow to the point where we can face trials and remain standing in Christ. We learned that to be victorious, we must prepare before the day of the adversity and not in the face of it. We were admonished to build up our faith by engaging in spiritual activities such as praying, Bible study, fellowshipping with other believers and so on. Today we have before us the second part of the same topic and in today's study, one very striking point our Father and the Lord makes is that a Christian that is growing spiritually becomes increasingly responsible. This Christian moves from being served to serving others. Our Father and the Lord cites for example in our study today that some believers after giving their lives to Christ, remain comfortably seated in church Sunday after Sunday without doing anything in the house of God. He asks us today and I want us to take this question very personal. He says, how can you be coming to church without being a responsible part of the running of the house of your father? Oftentimes, we are more concerned about what God can give us. We are always thinking what God can do for us and not what we can do for him. Forgetting that many times, great testimonies and divine remembrance comes to us in the place of service unto God. While ministering to others, you also get ministered to. Hallelujah! Remember King Hezekiah? He was told to put his house in order because he was going to die. However, scripture tells us that he turned his face to the wall and spoke to God, calling to remembrance all of his service. In response, God added 15 more years to his years. Hallelujah! Leave the realm of bench warmers and see the great things that God can do in your life and through your life to others. We also learn from our study today that growing Christians would not only work for God but would also be willing to give anything in honor of Him and for the furtherance of His work here on earth. It is true that giving has always proven the presence of love, as you cannot love without giving. Even scripture tells us that it was because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We must also note that our giving does not only start and end with money. We can give our time, we can give our talents, we can give our intellect everything we have and everything that would be of benefit to his work and his kingdom. Sometimes, some people think that God's work is only left for the pastors and the evangelists, the apostles to do. But that is not true. As we study today about growing spiritually, we must understand that growing believers take responsibility for things. They don't wait to be told to do something before they do what is right. They personalize the work of the kingdom. No wonder our Lord Jesus in Luke chapter 2 verse 49 said, how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? He was legitimately surprised. The zeal of the Lord's house had consumed him. He also said in John chapter 4 verse 34 that my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. No wonder he was more than willing to sacrifice his very life for us. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and ask the Lord today say, Father, Please grant me the grace for this spiritual growth in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that He will walk upon our hearts and our minds 
to be able to employ all that he has put in our possessions, all that he has given to us, the blessings, the talents, the skills, the resources, into the furtherance of his work. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant unto me a responsibility mindset for the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Grant unto me a heart that personalizes your work, a heart that has the right understanding and revelation of kingdom service in the name of Jesus. You may also be trusting the Lord for a particular area where you would pour yourself into, where you would give yourself totally to his active service. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help me to see a need and grant me the capacity to fill it. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our blessed Redeemer, we thank you for your word today. Thank you because you have not left us the same way we came. We ask, O oh Lord, that you grant unto us today great proportions of spiritual growth in the name of Jesus. Let us move from spiritual babes to spiritual giants. Let us move from milk to meat and even to bones in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in today's study that asks, are you growing spiritually? We receive the grace today for great spiritual growth in Jesus' name. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Mark chapter 15 down to chapter 16. We also want to sincerely thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 80 986 226 do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 23 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Take my life and let it be. Have an amazing day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.